Hello Live Wires! Heather Boyd Wire here and welcome to my channel for all kinds of wire art and jewelry making tutorials and live streams. So I'm going to start with about a two foot piece of uh, 18 gauge wire. Take your skull and just slip it onto the wire. We'll leave about six inches on there. We're just going to pull it around and wind it around a couple of times. So then we'll get another long piece of wire and just attach it to this side. We want enough to make the arm and then we're going to just wind it around here and just around here. And then to secure it in place, we're just gonna go around behind the arm to make sure it's nice and secure in place. And then around this one too, just to make sure it doesn't twist around too much. So we'll just bring it around here and then we can form the rib cage. So to do that, in a previous video I showed how to use a little plastic piece to wrap it around. Otherwise you can just do it by eye. So just go ahead with your round pliers. If you want them wider and more consistent, use your looping pliers. So just stick it in there and then just eyeball it to see how big you want to make it. So just work your way down, just kind of hold it in there, bring it around, same thing here. Just work your way down. And as you go down, these are gonna get more narrow. That's why sometimes it's good to wrap it around something, then it'll be super consistent, but you can easily just kind of wrap your way around down this way. You could do a coil too on more of like a marker or a cylinder, but I kind of like the way this is a little bit more flat. So we're just gonna work our way down, all the way down, and then you can do one more if you like, that way, and then that way. And then to wind it around here, just start it with your round pliers. Just hold it in place, bring it all the way around so it won't get distorted. And then just go down a few times. This wire is stiff, but it's because I want it to be freestanding. So we've got it like that. And you can go a little lower if you want, if you want to do one more. And then from there, we're just going to spread those a little bit there and there. And then we're going to start forming the legs. So again, get your looping pliers, start here, make a little loop right there. If you prefer, just use your round pliers there and down. Now this side too, we're just going to go around here, around, just bring it right in, down and down. And then for this, you can measure about how long you want the legs to be. So it could be about an inch long, say, between the hip and the knee. So we're just gonna bring that one down here. And then this one too, we're just gonna eyeball it a little bit, bend it out in and out that way, perfect. And then for the foot, uh, do the foot any way you want. So it would be again about, about an inch. And you can, if you want to do it more like with kind of bony toes, you can just take this and bring it back in. If you want, you can just wrap it around a piece of plastic. So just from a yogurt pot and then just bring that around and probably go around about three times just to represent the toes and then bring this one down. Make sure that's a little extra on here and then you can remove that and we can do the other side. Just start it where the bottom of the foot will be, bring it up and then again bring this little piece in there and wrap it around three times. So one, two, so now you can remove that. We'll make a loop at the bottom to stand it up. Let's just spread the toes a little bit. Just bring that one back. 
and then bend that one out so it's got sort of a little foot thing going on there. If you have a better way to make the foot, just go ahead. And then we're going to just take this one, bend it to the side, and we're going to make a loop. I'm just gonna use a pill bottle. We're just gonna stick that one in here, bring it all the way around. And what we want to do is just bend it around here. So just bring this one to the front, bring the foot over here, tighten it up so it makes a nice round circle, and then just wind it around a couple of times so it's pretty tight, and then we can clip that. And then we're going to pinch it, and we're just going to lift that one up there so he's going to end up standing. So if you're doing a soccer player, just take the soccer ball, stick it there on the end of the foot, and then we can just bend that one around to the back. and then just clip it here. The 18 gauge wire should hold in place. So we're just gonna clip that one there. And let's do the arms and then we could position this how we want. So now for the arms, we're just going to take this one, bring it down here and this one here, bring it around here. and then bring that one down. So this one too. The arm wires are a little short. I don't think we're gonna be able to do some fingers with that, but we'll figure it out. So we're gonna bring this one down there, that way. And that one around here. And just around that way. And out like that. So the arms aren't big enough to make uh, fingers. We'll just wind that into a loop. And this one too, we'll just wind it into a loop like that. And it's fine. So now we wanna make sure we have it in the positioned in the right place. So I'm just gonna bend that leg a bit and bend that out just like that. And that one out like that and then this one out here, then he's gonna look like he's kind of kicking and then you can get the arms going too, kind of like that and like that and like that and like that. And there you have your soccer playing skeleton. So you can do anything with these skeletons. This one is a guitar playing skeleton. I'll link up below the tutorial that I did in the 10 day bead soup challenge where I made a little figure with the guitar. Sky is the limit. You can do musicians, sports figures, professions, all kinds of things. And I can't wait to see what you guys create. So thanks so much for watching the video. Give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for lots more wire art and jewelry making videos. Hit the notification bell to be notified when I go live and when I post new videos. And if you'd like to share photos of your wire art and jewelry, be sure to join the Wire Makers Club on Facebook. And if you'd like to check out my work on Etsy, my husband and I specialize in custom wedding cake toppers and funky jewelry. I also have a mailing list, so if you'd like to sign up below, I'll send you my Wire Art Essentials ebook. So thanks again for watching, and we'll see you the next time.